All right, I was having a discussion with my pastor today, and we were talking about religious symbols, or any symbols whatsoever, and how they really do not have any power over us. Uh, I was talking about how that those who serve Satan and witchcraft and Santeria and all and oh what is it called Mason the Freemasons and all that they put great stock in symbols and signs and things that mean nothing to us absolutely nothing and uh, I was talking about the, the fellow that used to be a high uh, priest in the satanic religion he was into Sat Santeria John Ramirez uh, I am totally glad that he came to salvation um, now I really don't want to criticize the man but I think some of the information he's putting out is, is not correct according to the scripture That's it. he would go on and on about different symbols you can't allow near your home or you can't have around or on yourself or whatever because you'll invite demons into your home or into your life or whatever and I believe as a Christian that's bull fluff it really is our power is not in things no power is in things it is in Jesus Christ through the Holy Spirit and Paul said it Paul said no heights nor depths no powers principalities anything in this life can separate us from the love of God and It's not, it's not some symbol or, or some image on your shirt or anything or some jack-o'-lantern or, you know, Halloween decoration that's going to invite a demon into your home or your life. It's a condition of your heart. You, you need Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And that will take care of it right there. If you have not given your life and your... You have not come to salvation in Jesus Christ. Then you're already under the power of the devil anyways. That's how it works. You, you, don't, you only serve two, two powers in this life. God or Satan and people don't realize that it did, you know the symbols the whatever it doesn't matter now it might matter to somebody who's who's not saved who does not have the Holy Spirit yeah they 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 take great stock in that I do not I don't care. You show me all kinds of symbols. I don't care. It's not going to separate me from Christ. And that's what I want to let you know. So don't don't be heeding the advice. And, and hopefully, you know, when I watch those videos about John Ramirez, it's been a while. It's been more than a year. It might have even been a couple of years. Hopefully he's calmed down by then, by now. Maybe he has, uh, he's maybe searched the scriptures more and understands it better. He's come to more Christian maturity. I hope so. I haven't really, I mean, I need to watch some of his later videos, see what he's about, if he's changed or not. 
he's matured in Christianity. If God has um, sanctified him a bit, but don't listen to that. If you are a if you are a saved, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All that old stuff goes away. Jesus led captivity captive. He destroyed the power of the devil in your life on the cross. And he, he went to hell for three days and rose from the grave in newness of life, in power. He has defeated the devil. The devil has no power over you if you have Christ in you. That's what I wanted to say. God's peace be upon you if you're not saved. If you have not chosen Christ as your Lord and Savior, I'm asking you today to choose Christ, to allow Him into your life, to seek Jesus, to believe that He is the Son of God and that He is the only way. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Believe on Him, call upon Him, and you shall be saved. After that, be baptized. I don't care if it's in Jesus' name only or in the name of the Father, the Son, or the Holy Ghost. After you get saved, be baptized. Now, can you walk away from Christ? Yes, you can. I will say that. You can make that choice. It's not a once saved, always saved thing. He said, he said at one point, let's see here, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. There's another scripture that says we should not perish, but have everlasting life. Should not. We can perish. We can make that choice. He does not over ride our choices. However, if you are choosing to remain in Christ, no power in the world can come upon you. Even the Holy Spirit himself will not force himself on you. All right, I'm about done. Let the peace of God be upon you peace that passeth all understanding. In Jesus' name, have a good night.